guys welcome to travel crafter channel my name is Renette so if you are new here you're not subscribed yet and if you'd like the kind of contents that I do uh, we do tutorials on crochet and knit knit projects we also have yarn giveaways every now and then um, and some other topics are like uh, yarn shopping and uh, some travel blogs that uh, I did um, last summer of 2022 so um, to my subscribers I thank you for coming back thank you for your time as usual and um, I've been out I've been out of circulation for maybe two weeks now so um Today uh, is January the 19th, it's a Thursday, I am off. So the previous video that I did was I was still recovering from my flu. Um, so thank God I had recovered fully. Uh, last week I went back to work and um yesterday and today were my days off so i was planning to put a, a knitting tutorial on the beanie that i did um like i think before christmas but i wasn't able to edit it and i think it's not so appropriate anymore as i see a lot of people a lot of knitters and crocheters are uh, having this uh, knit along um, projects or the knit along calls that they do but we will go into that so today um i think let me read my notes so i will not get lost um today uh is a three-part series or a three-part session not series but just session so um we will do the yarn giveaway the last i promise not to do this um video too long so you will not lose interest as usual sorry if lately my tutorials were like very long i don't know how to edit <coughs> to cut to cut short of uh, the time uh, for the tutorials i think like every minute every second uh, is important for you to understand and to learn the tutorial so um, let's do this like a three-part series but I'm not gonna make it that long as promised so uh, initially I'd like to reintroduce myself or to introduce myself to all those who are new here so my name is Renette um, you are watching the travel crafter channel i have my facebook page travel crafter and i also have my instagram uh, account it's travel crafter 9 i usually post my um a bit of my projects a little bit of my projects just a picture or sometimes very rarely do i post uh, the video so uh, if you want to follow me i am under the name of travel crafter 9 in on instagram so um i work as a nurse i work at a step down unit so it is a combination or a mixture of um, med surge level patients and a uh, step down or progressive level of patients progressive meaning uh, patients are not that sick to go to the intensive care unit so i work like in that kind of unit it's a very busy one um and i do the flex time I work day shift which starts at 7 30 in the morning and then ends at 7 30 at night so uh, if you don't see me um, doing my videos it's because sometimes like after my three days of work 
usually i am so tired like the following day or like on my day off the first day off that i have so um in regards to me being a nurse i i also did i also had my birthday last uh, january 9th so it's almost like two weeks now um i really had wanted to um to to present the video here but i wasn't really able to edit it um i went to annie's annie annie and company needlepoint and knitting i know i had a video previously like the summer or summertime i think that i did a video when i did my yarn shopping uh, at Annie's so I went there again just so that uh, I will give some kind of present for myself on my birthday so before showing you my yarns my latest acquisition of yarns I have this um, not all patients do appreciate us so this is like a mag that i went that i bought at a, a hallmark store close to annie's that day so it just says nursing is a work of art of of heart i mean so it's not uh it would have been nice if it was given to me by like a patient of mine but it's okay i have to reward myself so right here i haven't used it yet like inside there is like a heart there's a heart here so i really like it kind of big i haven't used it yet so that is my present for myself and then the yarns that i bought from uh, annie's are this it's my first to work not i haven't even started working but it's my first to buy malabrigo yarns so just so you know um this is hold on let me just read it's worsted malabrigo and um it's 100 percent merino wool and one is 210 yards kind of uh orange not really orange but the cinnamon is it cinnamon i guess all right um the color is does it say it's um the number is 123 rhodesian ridgeback so i got a, a four or three hold on okay i got four yeah i got four of this so i have a project that i really intend to uh to do sooner than later so i got four of that and then this one i am already uh, working on um one skein or one cake this one is um let me just see this is uh, Patagonia from uh, it's an organic merino wool okay so I had already uh, started working with it it looks like it's um, like a number three DK but it, it's nice to work with I, I bought uh, three of this so one I am uh, currently working on it so and then I also got this I really love these colors. This is uh, Echo Tweed Carnelian and this is Ella Ray. Uh, color is Carnelian. It's 75% merino and 25% polyamide. So I got three hanks. I did not ask them to, um, to cake it just because I just did not have enough time to wait on, uh, you know, them. Um, turning this into cakes but um these are so for um for oh, it matches my jacket too my sweater so this i'm planning to do a project for uh, the spring season and so that was all that i uh, bought from annie's so um my intention or my resolution i don't really uh, do new year's resolution or something i know it's like we are already like half of the year i mean half of the month 
still January. So um, my plans for 2023 is I had told you, I had mentioned uh, for previous videos that I am doing um, just slow knitting or intentional knitting. So in line with that, everything that I buy, the yarns that I buy are... Um, for a project that I am intending to do this season. So I am really gearing towards um, making shawls, making uh, wraps, and uh, some beanies, and some scarves. I think I am inclined to doing those just because um, I really use them. You know, uh, I leave the house like really early in the morning, even if I am to go to work. So being in New York, the weather, winter weather is just too cold. So I have to put on my, I have to wear my bonnet or beanie. I have to put on my scarf. And um, lately, I've just discovered that the wraps are like really um, giving you the warmth that you need, especially when you are already outside. So it really gives you the kind of um, warm warmth that you need when you are, uh, you know, going to work or going out. So. Um, and my inspiration for uh, the slow knitting, I showed you this book already. This is the seasonal slow knitting, thoughtful projects for handmade hand, hand years. So it's from Hannah Thyssen. It's really nice. Uh, I'm not um, done completely with the book. Uh, every now and then I go back and forth and it's really something, uh, it's an interesting um, topics that she has and then for my shawls and my wraps I have this book um, I'm so inspired with this book this is from Marisa Noldeki Noldeki um, the the samples that she has here the patterns that she has here are like really beginner friendly most of them are and uh, I I think I did like three from her patterns already. Um, I highly recommend it. It's uh, based on my opinion. Uh, if you are new to knitting, um, you will learn a lot from her. And she has um, a lot of information for you to learn how to do your first uh, wrap or show. I guess those are, these are the two books that uh, give me the inspiration for my slow knitting or uh, intentional knitting. So I guess um, this year, 2023, you will see me make more either crochet or knit more of uh, the shawls, the wraps, some stoles maybe, and um, some beanies or bonnets, and uh, <clears throat> some scarves. I'm not really um, so interested in uh, knitting some socks um it's not just me or maybe you know sometimes you change your uh your interest in uh knitting or crocheting change as time passes but for now i am not really inclined into knitting um or crocheting socks it's just not me okay all right so what else is new i have uh, a lot of um yarns that i ordered from before these are all ordered from like uh the christmas season until uh like early part of january i haven't purchased anything but uh, this one that i am using i ordered this from um black sheep the black ship brown ship company they are uh, located in nebraska this one is the one that I am um, currently working on with my uh, shawl so this is Mediterranean olive is the color and it's a hundred percent wool three ply yarn and uh, it's a hundred grams per 256 uh, yards I really love it it doesn't peel so far but i haven't like really watched my uh, project because i'm just halfway through it 
uh, the rest of it, maybe I can do another video. Like I ordered some from uh, We Are Meters. And then I also ordered some yarns from Holby. And I have right behind me, uh, Wool in the Gang. Uh, that is my biggest project so far, but I haven't started anything. I did not open the box yet. Alright, so I think that is really it. I also love Shandy. You know, I, I truly love Shandy's work. I ordered uh, some lines from her. This one's too. I haven't even opened it. How did it choose? So this is from uh, Fiber Expression. Fiber Expression Arts. But it's from Shandy. I remember the Copeland... Um, um shawl that i did or what was it shawl. i guess so this is from her um all right so let me all right so this is these are the yarns for our yarn giveaway now okay so let me start um so again the the rules is that you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment down below my question will be you know because we see a lot of this knit alongs uh, in my personal opinion, they're really uh, nice to uh, enroll or like to be part of one. But uh, personally, I don't really uh, join because um, because of my schedule at work. Like uh, I sometimes I do the twelve-hour thing, so uh, it takes a lot of my energy especially if i do the straight uh, three days so that's the reason why i don't really um join in any need alongs but uh maybe in the future i will join but for now it's not really me so uh, if you can comment in the um, uh, in the description box under the comment section below if you can comment if you are um, a fan of it or if you are a person who'd be interested in uh, joining a knit along um, via the YouTube or um, whatever else whatever medium that um, there will be right so let us start with the giveaway again you have to be a subscriber you have to like this video and you have to comment down below if you are a person who is interested in um, joining or in participating um, knit alongs I see a lot of um, the temperature blanket I am so interested in doing that I have this granny granny squares that I, I used uh, the, the cotton yarn for it, uh, the was it sugar, oh god, I can't think. Yeah, so that was the kind of yarn I bought from Michael's. I still haven't uh, finished this. It was like uh, so many years back when I was still like really new into uh, crocheting. So I have, I have this, I know I have two more that uh, I kept in, um, one of those um, one of those bags that is around my uh, my house okay so the yarns that you will be winning I don't want to open this up anymore from my um, from the from the package so this you will get three yarns or three skeins of this yarn from uh, loops and threads Okay, it's a 57% cotton, 28% nylon, and 15% polyester. So this color is lavender. So you'll get three of this, three of this lavender color. And, <clears throat> excuse me, one yarn is uh, 174 yards or uh, 160 meters. So three of this made in china and then this one is uh, white okay so the same thing same content as this one so we've got 16 there and then i hope you don't mind i want to give this out i haven't um 
I this is a full skein of uh, yarn from Lion Brand. Um, I think this what 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 it's called uh, the the shawl ball in a shawl shawl in a ball, right? I just don't have the the label for it. I think I uh, started using it for uh, an intended project, but then again, I changed my mind. So I just uh, put them together. But I'm sorry that I don't have the the proper label for it but this is from lion brand and i think if i'm not mistaken it's a shawl in a bowl right so um it's 100 percent acrylic okay yeah, so this is the color it's really nice too really really nice okay and then you will also get this Homespun from Lion Brand. I think the farther it is, it's better. So this one is a Homespun Stripes. And this one is 185 yards. It's a number five bulky yarn. And uh, the color is Mountain View. This one is 185 yards per 169 meters. It's 98% acrylic and 2% other fibers. So uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. One skein of this or one cake of this. And then you will also get this mandala, man, mandala lion brand. Okay, it's a number three lightweight, um, 5.3 ounces, 150. It's 100% acrylic. Okay, it's machine washable, light number three and the color is griffin super nice so you'll get one two cakes and then six games from loops and threads and one of this i really hope that you don't mind getting this uh the full yardage is still here i just don't remember where the label went after i wanted it okay so this is all that uh you will get again um i will be editing this video i am recording it today uh thursday january the 19th uh, i will be editing it maybe tonight but like my wi-fi at home the signal really sucks so i might be able to edit it tomorrow and hopefully by saturday or the latest will be sunday i will be able to uh, upload it and uh, you'll be able to watch it so again you have to be a subscriber so if you are not a subscriber yet please do so uh, hit the like button you have to like the, this video and the third is for you to comment down below if uh, you are a person who is interested or who is fond of um, joining the knit alongs over in uh, social media um, tell me what you think about uh, the knit alongs or tell me what you think about uh, you know the temperature blankets that like I see a lot of crafters do nowadays all right guys so I really hope that you are all in um, in good condition and that you are all well and safe wherever you are or uh, if you are not experiencing winter or the cold season, I hope that uh, you are doing well as well and that your family is uh, doing uh, okay. So um, just to let you know, uh, the previous winner, what's her name? Oh my God. Like, uh, please check your email. I uh, shipped your uh, package. The yarns that we had for uh, the new year's uh, yarn giveaway okay please check your email uh, i put there the tracking numbers so you'd be able to uh, trace where your package is and then the delivery date expected delivery date okay so i used the usps and um congratulations again to you i just wanted to make a video of a yarn giveaway after i uh 
uh, mailed the last package so it's done and over with and uh really guys thank you for your time again and uh, i wish you all the luck and uh this will run until the first week of it's either the last week or last day of uh january into the first week of february i will um put it in the description below too all right you guys have a good one take care of yourselves and i'll see you goodbye